What's going on guys? This is Caleb from a new expression.net where change happens with a new expression. And in today's video, I want to go in depth with why a morning routine is so important and and why everyone should have a morning routine when they wake up. Uh, what separates a lot of CEOs, the most successful people, you know, Tony Robbins, Marie Forleo, Brian Tracy and all of them, the what se separates them is that they they set up their day to be a successful day and what does that mean so the second that they wake up their their day is set up so that they have the most productive day they do things that either has their mind perform in a high performance state or they get themselves into a mood that they're able to go about their challenges and their tasks throughout the day in a in a good manner in a good mood um, and that's all because they formed this morning routine that puts them into this kind of state where they can go about their day, do all these tasks, and really just nail it out and, and perform at a very high level. And that's what separates the most successful people to the average Joe. And so that's why I think a morning routine is very important. And I'm going to give you guys my morning routines, things that I like to do in the morning. Um, these, are, these are things that... I picked up off the the most successful people, you know, people that are really successful in this world. They they in, inhabit and they really do the same have are the same routines in the morning. So I'll give you guys those things and ways that we could do it and why that's so important. So the first one I wanted to give you guys was meditation. And I talk about meditation a lot on this channel and you're probably sick by by me talking about it so much, but it really is so important guys and you don't have to be spiritual you don't have to be this monk you don't have to be somebody that's involved with spirituality and and all of that but even like even if you're not involved in all that and that's okay I did not start out with that and I just think it's so important for for everyone just to incorporate meditation into their day it doesn't matter if you are religious it doesn't matter if you have a religion if you're atheist or whatever meditation is for everyone and i truly believe that so i think it's important for us to to really just have everyone do this in the morning just the first thing that you wake up just meditate you know focus on your breathing when your when your thoughts are all over the place and you're thinking about okay i need to do this and do that that's really that's putting you in an anxious state. When you're thinking about all the things that you need to do and get done during the day, it can be overwhelming and that's not the right way that you want to start out your mornings. So start out your mornings with meditation. That's what I personally do. I start out my mornings with meditation just so that I can tackle the day with a clear mind so I'm not all rambled up with, with thoughts and anxious thoughts or whatever, whatever it might be, whatever your scenario or circumstance might be that day. You're just clearing that all, all out. You're clearing the whole slate, right? And you're starting your day with a new perspective, with a new slate. So that's why I think meditation is so important. And you can do this for, you know, 10 minutes when you get very good at it. You can up the minutes up more, maybe 15, maybe 20. Um, I know it's and it's crazy that monks actually wake up very early. I know, I know I've heard of monks waking up at like 2:30 in the morning, in the morning and get up just to meditate and start out their day in a in a very productive and spiritual manner but yeah so that's very important try to incorporate meditation you know first thing when you wake up it's so much more beneficial than just going through your phone and going on social media and just doing the things that we're so we're so used to doing and so subconscious and so unconscious that that it just it doesn't it doesn't train us to have a productive day. It doesn't train us to become better and to improve ourselves in all these um, aspects. So really try and look into that. Just focus on your breathing. If it's five minutes, if it's 10 minutes, whatever, you know, everything is worthwhile. So just try it out for yourself and you'll, you'll reap the benefits. You'll realize how much you like how different you feel when you do meditation. So that was the first thing. Um, the second thing that I recommend that you guys do is some sort of exercise. And I know I covered this in the video where I went over my three daily habits that you guys can inhabit. 
Um, if you guys want to check that out, I can try and put it on the very top. I'm not very too good at all that, but I will try and you can click the video, the link at the very top and check those out. But basically what I said in that video was to get some exercise, get some sort of way for you to get your blood going, get those endorphins going, because when you do that, um, you're going to be able to feel a lot better going throughout your day, doing the things that you need to do. And it just puts you in a better state. When I work out, you know, when I work out, after I get out of the gym, I feel empowered. I feel good about myself. And it's so much more powerful to go through your task and do the things that you need to do when you feel good, when you're in a good state. So that's why I recommend getting some exercise, doing some sort of exercise to get your blood going. So that you can just it really makes you feel better. And so try to inhabit that, you know, I usually meditate and then go straight to work out. But, you know, you guys can f fix it up to whatever your schedule or whatever works best for you guys. Alright guys, a switch of a location. Third thing that you can do in the morning, in your morning routine, is to journal. And, you know, you hear journaling, you're like, oh, like, you're just gonna write down, like, my, like, my exes, like, like, I hate my ex, like, oh my god, like, I'm a mess, like, no, it's not that kind of journaling. What this journaling is, is basically you can really write down anything um, along the lines of your ambitions, your intentions for the day. What, what's um, an outcome that you want out of the day? Like what's the most important outcomes that you want to achieve and that you want to see during the day? And you can write down your goals, what you want to do better, everything that you could do. And it helps you track you know, it helps you keep, keeps you on track with what you want to do and your intentions throughout the day so that when you're going about your day, you have these in mind, you have these intentions in mind because you wrote it down and you journaled it. And in that way, you'll, you'll apply it a lot better and you, it'll be a lot more effective in that way. And that's why I love to journal. I love to journal right after, you know, meditating and exercising. I write down what I want to get done today and my intentions and my my goals and my vision and all that and i get real clear and it clarifies what i want out of life and that really helps me so try those out try um a lot of those what i gave you you and you guys can come out with your own routine right um as long as it's benefiting you as long as it's making you a better person and it's making you more productive then you can incorporate that into your morning routine it's not you don't have to do a set certain thing, but I, I realized that, you know, meditation, exercising, and journaling are things that help me, and I think I help a lot of people. So, you know, it might help you too. So see what works out um, and really incorporate that and really start off your days like that, and you'll gradually see a major difference, and it'll help you guys a lot, and I truly believe that. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys give it a big thumbs up. Um, subscribe feel free to subscribe if you guys want more content like this so my camera died but i think we can end the video here i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys did feel free to subscribe feel free to give it a thumbs up and yeah remember that change happens only with a new expression and i will see you guys in the next video peace